Check this out, boys. New Loki Thor JC400. Loki Thor. Jump starter and battery charger. Not a bad idea having a battery charger on one of these. So we have the thank you card, the manual, Spanish novel, and the unit. Here's all the specs for you. 2500 amp peak, 1500 amp continuous. It's got a compass built in. Pretty neat. Then you have your AC in, so this will charge directly from the wall outlet. USB-A, USB-C, and your EC connector, which is your jumpers. You have a light, you also get a holder, jumper cables, USB charger, wall charger, and trickle charge. Direct wall plug-in, 120 volts. Pretty good size bag to fit everything in. It's a pretty good idea to have a charger and a jump pack. Let's check out the functions. So you have your power button, your light button, a few rows of LEDs, it's pretty bright, dim, dimmer, strobe, and of course SOS. Your forced mode, which is forced start mode, if you hold that for five seconds, it'll give the maximum boost you can. Then you have your amperage selector, three quarter amp, one amp, or two amp. Then you have your modes. You could do 12 volt repair, 12 volt, 12 volt AGM, or 12 volt lithium, or six volt. See, it's auto sensing. So let's hook a battery up. You hit the power button or the light button to wake this up if it's asleep. If it's not plugged in, it just does boost. What it's doing now is sensing the battery voltage and seeing whether it needs a boost, which it does. So it will boost now. Hit the mode, it'll stop boosting. Then hit the mode again, it'll show how much power is in the battery. Your power level meter is on the left on a scale there too. It does have reverse cable connections, so if you put the polarity on wrong, it won't ruin anything. Now we are plugged in. So this is the internal battery indicator here with the different colors. This is your external battery indicator. That of course is your input value and that's your voltage. So this will typically auto select what battery you're gonna be connected to. But if you wanna change it, like if it's glass mat, or lithium or six volt you would do it through the mode and then if you want to repair it also that's there it has to be plugged in for that and once you're fully charged that'll be fully charged up there now if you have a battery that's less than one volt and it won't detect it due to force jump mode which you hold that for five seconds and then you can do battery repair and you go to the mode button Small batteries like these most likely end up wanting to use a 3 quarter amp or 0.75 amp. Here's another old battery I have. Seems to be charging pretty quickly. We're going to hook up this 12 volt fire panel battery. It's at 12 volt. It's still a decent battery. So we'll let that charge back up. This little motorcycle battery is in bad shape. So let's get this to trickle charging. Just plug it in, then you can select what you want for modes. I'm just going to leave it at that and we'll keep that at 0.75. If it doesn't hold a charge, we'll desulfate. When to use the repair function. If battery sulfation, the phenomenon when the battery is not fully charged or idle for a long time, lead sulfate crystals, sulfation, form on the surface of the plates, resulting in increased internal resistance. So this will desulfate your battery. As you can see, this battery is completely dead. Plug the external power. Force this one. Let's plug it in. See if we can do repair. Sometimes it works. You can use this as a voltmeter when you connect the cables up without it plugged into AC 
it works as a voltmeter. And that meter right there will tell you how much of a charge the battery has. You can also use this as a portable power supply using the USB-C or the USB-A output. With it plugged in and nothing connected, it will show the charging of the internal battery and how many watts it takes to charge it. So I definitely like it. It's a great idea. The only thing I wish is that they put longer cables. And the only thing I see as a downside of using this as a trickle charger is that you don't have capability of using the small connector to maintain. Which I guess you could, but if you do it on boost, you'd have to run a pretty heavy cable long to the battery because that's putting some amperage. But I suppose as long as you don't do boost and you're just trickle charging, you can make an adapter to go to that small plug. If you guys are interested, I'll have a link down below. These are awesome to keep as backups in a car too. But yeah, this one would be perfect for a garage because you can maintain the battery or charge a battery and boost if needed. Thanks for watching, boys. Another Vin Cheesel approved product. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.